Your home page is the queen bee of your website. It's by far the most important page for SEO. In this video, I'm going to walk you through step by step how to conduct a home page SEO audit. Let's get started. Welcome back. We are, of course, looking at our home pages, uh, trying to understand how to build effective pages uh, for SEO. Uh, so your code is 2999-G as in good. So three nines, 2999-G as in good. That's going to get you to all the materials or click on the description in the YouTube uh, video below and you can get to the class material. So I'm going to take uh, my favorite insurance industry and we're going to look and compare some home pages across uh, those uh, insurance companies. Progressive, Geico, and 21st. Now if you look at your rank report, you'll see uh, that if you start searching for car insurance, auto insurance, homeowners insurance, you're going to see Progressive and Geico consistently outperforming 21st. And one of the reasons why is that the 21st page is poorly constructed versus the Geico page and especially versus the Progressive page. So I've opened up each one of their home pages and we want to uh, sort of learn how would we do an audit. So we're going to take some sample pages here uh, and compare them. So I have some lists of some things that you can run down for your own home page uh, as you're auditing it uh, for SEO performance. So first let's talk about keyword targets okay so for these insurance companies it's pretty obvious you can look at what they do and you can see that all three of these guys uh, have insurance uh, they all do auto insurance they all do homeowners insurance and the home pages tell us that we know that uh, just from sort of market research uh, you know as we get started so car insurance auto insurance and then we're also going to look at um, homeowners insurance and you can see just by inference that all three insurance companies are targeting those two big markets uh, where there's uh, lots of money uh, Geico as well you can see down here homeowners insurance and of course they have uh, car insurance um, at the top of the page um, on here we're gonna go and compare that as we get in here so there's your auto alright now so first thing is keywords so we're gonna assume we know our keyword targets now let's talk about our title tag so you're gonna look at your home page home page most important page on your website and I want you to analyze your title tag that's the most powerful signal uh, that you're sending to Google so let's go and look at each one so go to the home page go to your own home page view page source find the title tag and it's a good idea to literally read the page title out loud to yourself so open title car insurance quotes notice the helper word online auto insurance quotes notice the synonym car auto quotes plural quotes plural online and then the company name at the far right so it's a very well done title tag clearly contains the most important um, product portfolio for them car insurance let's look at Geico Geico right click view page source find the title tag Geico dash or uh, pipe character auto insurance saving people money on more than car insurance I think it's kind of interesting so to me see this is sort of the silver medalist they don't do as well they don't have uh, online they don't have quote those are the big helper words so they've got a little pizzazz so they kind of went more in the pizzazz level not so much in the keyword level now let's look at uh, 21st here right click view page source title tag car insurance quotes online 21st century auto insurance so pretty good I actually think their title tags a little bit better than Geico's okay so that's the first thing is look at the title tag or the second thing so to speak once after you know your keywords then let's look at our meta description this is what appears when you do a search so you do a search for auto insurance you know quote or something the meta description is what you see down here if the meta description contains the keywords and Google likes it you can see here um, progressive number one Geico about number four and of course 21st nowhere to be seen on that page all right so now let's look at the meta descriptions again right click view page source and you're gonna to have to find your meta description if you can't find it go control F as in Frank type in the word description and look for it now if you don't have it that goes on your audit sometimes the, it doesn't even exist on the page so here's our progressive we make car insurance quotes easy by finding coverage packages to fit your budget and showing other insurers rates so think about what people are searching for car auto insurance quotes rates very well done meta description let's look at 21st right click view page source 
Meta description. Get a car insurance quote free online from 21st Century. Pretty good. Find advice on the right auto insurance policy. I like it, although most people don't search for policy. They search for rate quote online. If you do your keyword research, you'll see that in the keyword volumes. Right click for Geico. View page source. Let's look at meta description. Geico. Government employees insurance company. Now what a waste, right? Who cares? Has been providing affordable auto... <laughs> I fell asleep, right? It's very badly written. Has been providing affordable auto insurance since 1936. I really don't care, and I certainly don't care that that's the original name of the company. So they've wasted a lot of uh, characters in that. You can trust Geico to offer low insurance rates. And just out of curiosity, let's go over here and let's do that auto insurance quote search, and let's look at what Google suggests for Geico. See here? They've actually chosen a different page than the home page and they're doing a different summary. So it's not very well done, the meta description for Geico. Okay, now let's talk about content. So when you're auditing your home page, you have your keyword worksheet. In our case, car insurance, car insurance quote, homeowner's insurance. You can see that all three of them chose to prioritize car insurance over homeowner's insurance. That was a choice that they made with their title tag. You only get about 66, 69 visible characters. They made a choice to prioritize car insurance. Uh, by inference, you could assume there's probably more money in car insurance uh, than home ins homeowner's insurance, or that's more of a priority for them. Now let's look at content. So let's go to content. Now, the easiest way to do content is go control F as in Frank. Let's type in the word car. Let's hit highlight all. And notice here, car. Let's do auto, auto. And look at the look at the nice pink for auto down here. So you can see there's a fair amount of keyword coverage on the page. Now let's look at 21st. We have auto, highlight all. So a little bit of occurrence of auto. Let's put in car. Okay, so not too bad. Now let's put in homeowners. Homeowners, right? See how mad it is? It's getting my 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 thing's getting mad at me. There's no occurrence of the word homeowner to be found. None. Now let's go back to, to um, progressive and let's put highlight all. Look at that. So see how homeowners exist down here? Now it, it's up here, it's down here. Two occurrences of the word homeowners. Let's look at Geico and let's do a highlight all down here. Now see this guy here on Geico? That's an HTML5 slider. So it's a little bit hard to kind of capture in the visual. Right click, view page source. And let's do control F as in Frank, and let's type in homeowners, or just homeowner, and let's find them. And let's see where they are. So see here, there's at least a couple occurrences of homeowners, at least in site navigation. You can see that sort of behind the scenes, they have some occurrences more than you'd think on the Geico page. That's because they're using some little HTML5 tricks. So you can see 21st, it doesn't have any occurrences of homeowners. Geico does, Progressive does. So you can see here, how are they playing their hands? How are they setting up their home pages? If you want to show up for auto insurance and homeowner insurance, you've got to get that text on that page. And you can see here that Progressive has prioritized some of their insurance uh, products and put them right on that home page. Now look up here and see here, see the prioritization? They know exactly which ones are their major ones and they're on that home page and they're visible both to Google and to humans. So that's sort of a much better done page than the 21st page. Okay, now let's talk about link sculpting. I would say after the sort of title tag, this is the most important thing to do with your home page and audit your home page accordingly. Link sculpting means that you have one click links from your home page to your major landing pages around keywords. Progressive, fantastic SEO on this page. I always feel like I'm like an Olympic uh, commentator. So notice here, let me see if I can get it to clear those. Control F, let's see if I can just clear them. It just doesn't want to clear that. It's just so happy showing me those little pink things. I'll just reload the page, get rid of those darn pink things now. All right, so notice here, home page, auto insurance, and notice how that's a clickable link. Notice how that's a clickable link. And notice how auto insurance, homeowner insurance, motorcycle insurance, boat insurance, 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 insurance. So each link is optimized around the exact text that they want to show up for. And that link energy flowing from the outside to the home page is being, is being transferred. I'm a terrible drawer. 
being transferred. Well, let me draw. It's being transferred from the home page to the landing pages around the link phrase. Now let's look at 21st as a, as a sort of counter example. Okay, so now notice here about 21st insurance. See, they're sending that link energy through link sculpting around that phrase as if they're telling Google, we want to be number one Google for the phrase about 21st century insurance. We want to be number one Google for the phrase customer review. See how that's a clickable link? So it's not very well done. Now down here they have some links, but notice how they have a lot of extraneous words in here. How to buy car insurance online, tips on shopping for auto insurance, and the whole thing is a link versus over here just the keyword. So link sculpting much better done on Progressive than on 21st. Look at your own home page and audit are you link sculpting around your target keywords? They're not a million. Notice here, one, two, three, four, five, five big ones. You go two clicks from the home page and you get to like the little fry, like Segway insurance, right? Like, I mean, really, it, there is insurance for, I guess there has to be, right? Not a critical product versus car. Clear signals to Google. Look at Geico. Look in here. Now watch through the slider, walk through their slider, and you'll see here they have link sculpting, renter's insurance quote, very well done. And then they have some which are kind of stupid. Take steps now. See, that's just stupid. That's not a good phrase to link on. So somebody who wrote this kind of, sort of got it, but kind of didn't get it. They have over-optimized on some stupid, nonsensical link patterns. Down here it's pretty good. 21st is terrible. So that's your link sculpting. Images, you want some images with alt attributes. Let me just show you on Progressive. See that image right there? Right click, view image. It's auto.jpg. Now let's right click, view page source. Let's go control F and let's find auto.jpg. Now look down here. Look at the alt attribute. So the image on the page has an alt attribute for auto insurance and it's embedded in a link. So they have an image, embedded link, alt attribute is keyword heavy. Very good use of images on the progressive page. Look over here. Mwah, mwah, mwah. No images. None that are optimized. Look over here. May or may not be, I don't know, let's see what that image is. It's hurricane.jpg. Let's right click, view page source, control F, hurricane.jpg. And here you go. See, this is sort of, you know, Geico is sort of our silver medalist. The title is severe. The alt is hurricane. Not, not clickable, not focused. You can see Geico, the reason Geico performs well at all, it has massive inbound links to the page. But the on-page SEO of the home page is about a C plus, B minus. Progressive is an A plus. 21st is an F. It's not very good at all. Okay, localized SEO. This is a totally different one. I'll show you a different company. So here's sort of a company out of the blue. It's a watch repair company in New York City. Shows up very well for searches. Watch Repair New York, Breitling, uh, Breitling Repair New York, Tag Heuer Repair. I just want to show you if you're doing local SEO and you're optimizing for local keywords, home page, make sure the home page has your address. Make sure the home page has one-click links to your localized listings, especially your Google Plus local. So one click from here to his Google local page, same address, same website. That local SEO is very important. So wrapping up our on-page SEO audit of our homepage. First, know your keywords. Gotta, gotta know those keywords. Second, look at your homepage title tag. Write a keyword heavy title tag, less than 80 characters, highest priority SEO keywords in that homepage title tag. Write an awesome meta description tag that contains your keywords and has some zest, has some pizzazz. Analyze your content and make sure that you use your keywords in complete sentences. Link sculpt. Look at progressive link sculpt from your homepage, one click to your landing pages around keyword phrases. Use images and in your images have alt attributes that are keyword defined. Those are going to support the home page. Don't overdo this. Notice how on progressive, just a few. I think of this as the American Idol, you know, top six, top five, not top 5,000, not top 500, not top 50, top five. So five to seven major landing pages from the home page. Choose. You have to be selective. 
And if you're doing localized SEO, choose um, make sure that you have your, your address, make sure you have one click from your homepage. Couple little uh, tools here. I've got some tools for you. You can play around, pop your homepage into those tools and they'll help you uh, with the analysis. So that, my dear friends, is how to conduct a homepage SEO audit. Run through this with looking at the auto insurance companies, the big boys with lots of budget, then look at your own homepage versus your keyword worksheet, analyze the, the homepage versus the home uh, keyword worksheet, end up with an audit of what do you have now, what do you need to change it. You will be amazed at how once you bring your homepage up to best practices, you will really start to get to the top of Google. Very, very, very powerful tactic. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. Comments in the YouTube uh, below. And as I said, the code is 2999-G is in good to get to the materials for this quick video. Thank you so much.